Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Umodeler X's UV Editor. After learning about Umodeler X's three modes, Modeling Mode, Rigging Mode, and Painting Mode, in the introductory tutorial, we're going to learn about Umodeler X's UV Editor feature, which allows you to edit UVs within Unity, and how to use it. We'll work together to unwrap UVs from a simple model, place the unwrapped UVs in texture space, and apply actual materials and textures to them, all while learning about UV editor features and the sequence of unwrapping UVs. So let's get started, shall we? UV Editor is an editor that allows you to edit UVs that are used as texture coordinates in Umodeler X. The reason for creating and editing texture coordinates is to correctly represent the complex surfaces and curves of a 3D model in 2D space. In order to accurately place a texture, which is a 2D image, on a 3D model, you need texture coordinates that describe how the texture is connected to the 3D model and what it is based on. To understand this process, imagine a shipping box that you unfold to make it flat. The box is a 3D shape, but when you unfold it to make it flat, you can easily apply a 2D image to it. The texture coordinates refer to the unfolded state in this case, just like if you want to put a label or sticker on each side of a shipping box, you need to unfold the box so that each side is flat. Now, let's talk about the most common use of texture coordinates, UV mapping. Mapping is the process of connecting or transforming information from one data set or space to another. The term is used in many different ways in many different fields, but in 3D graphics, mapping primarily refers to texture mapping. Simply put, mapping is the process of attaching a 2D image to the surface of a 3D model. UV mapping uses the texture's horizontal and vertical coordinates to map the texture onto the 3D model, and UV editor allows you to edit and manage these UV coordinates. Now that you know the basic concepts behind UV editor, Let's take a look at how to use it in practice. Now let's take a look at how to run UV Editor and its interface. First, to launch the UV Editor, click on the Editor button under the Source Mesh in a Modeler X and select UV Editor from the pop-up menu. This will open a new UV Editor window. This window can be freely moved and pasted around like any other window in the Unity Editor. It is important to note that if the Umodeler X object is not active, the UV Editor will not be active either. When using the UV Editor, the space is divided into two main parts, the Scene View and the UV Editor Workspace. In order to generate good UV coordinates, you need to edit UVs while viewing different parts of your model. The scene view is where you view the various parts of your model. And the UV editor is where you actually edit the UVs. Elements selected in each area can be viewed in the other, but elements in the model and elements in the UV editor are two different things. In a modeler X, the vertices, edges, and faces that appear in the UV editor are all referred to as UV elements, UV vertices, UV edges, and UV faces. Now let's take a look at the UV editor. The UV editor interface is organized into four main areas. The first is the toolbar area, which contains the screen pan, transform gizmo, UV element selection tools, and the cursor, in that order. On the far right is the settings button, where you can change the settings of UV editor, Clicking the Settings button brings up the second area, the Settings area. This is where you can adjust the operation settings and visuals. The third area is the Workspace, where you edit your UV elements. This is where you can view grids, textures, and UV elements, and manipulate or select UVs. The fourth area is the UV Tools area, which is where you'll find the various tools to actually edit your UVs. Here you will find tools that allow you to expand, select, and place UV elements. The tools in this area are organized into groups, so you can choose tools based on their characteristics to help you use UV Editor effectively.
Now let's talk about how to select each face of the model and proceed with the unwrap operation. Unwrap refers to the process of unfolding the surfaces of a 3D model into a 2D image to make them easier to texture. This process is called UV unwrap, which creates UV coordinates out of the texture coordinates we talked about earlier. First, select the face you want to unwrap in the scene view. To unwrap the selected faces, you can use any of the tools in the unwrap group in UV editor. I'm going to use the cube tool here. Clicking on the cube tool will bring up the properties window below, which is where you can set the settings before the cube tool unwraps. If I check individual here, it will unwrap each face separately, and if I don't check it, it will unwrap the faces together. Once you have them checked the way you want, click the unwrap button just below and you will see the selected faces from the scene view expanded into UV elements in the UV editor workspace. In a modeler X's UV editor, you can use the LSCM unwrap feature among the unwrap methods. This is an unwrap method that uses the LSCM algorithm to generate natural UV coordinates and can be used as an LSCM tool in the unwrap group. Before you can use the LSCM tool, you need to create UV cut line for the LSCM tool to use called a UV seam. To set up a UV seam, you can use the Mark UV Seam tool and Unmark UV Seam tool in the Surface group in modeling mode. First, switch to the Edge Selection state and enable the Display UV Seam property in the Element group. Then select the edge you want to set as the cut line. Then run the Mark UV Seam tool in the Surface group and the selected edge will be set as a UV Seam. If you want to unmark the edge that was marked as a UV Seam, you can use the Unmark UV Seam tool in the same group. Select the same edges you want to unmark, run the Unmark UV Seam tool in the same group, and the selected edges that are set to UV Seam will be unmarked from the UV Seam. With the UV Seam set to be a cut line when UV unwrap, if you select a face and run the LSCM tool in UV Editor, you will see the UV unwrap to match the UV Seam. The following steps will show you how to place an unwrapped UV element into 2D texture space in UV Editor. When using the tools in the unwrap group, the UV element is automatically placed in 2D texture space, but as you edit the UV element, it can often fall outside of the 2D texture space. You can, of course, intentionally place them to overlap to control the density of the texture you see on your 3D model. If you want to put all of your UV elements in 2D texture space, you can use the tools in the Arrange group. The Arrange group includes the Pack and Fit tools, which give you two options for placing UV elements in texture space. You can also manually drag selected UV elements to place them where you want them. The position and orientation of the UV element is important for ease of texturing. Also, the size of the UV element determines the resolution of the texture in that area. You can increase the efficiency of your textures by making them larger for important areas and smaller for less important areas. Finally, it is recommended that UV elements that use the same material be placed in the same area. This makes it easier for the eye to distinguish between areas that use the same material when working with textures and allows for efficient use of space in the texture image. Now we will go through the steps to apply a texture to the UVs we have placed and verify how accurately we have placed them. For this step, we will be utilizing the Material tool in Modeling mode. First, create a material wherever you want in the Project tab of the Unity Editor. When you select the material you created, you will see the material's information appear in the Inspector tab. For now, we will be working with a material that has the standard shader applied to it which is the default shader in the Unity Editor. We can apply a texture to the color property here. Simply click and drag the texture you want to apply. After that, select the Umodeler X object again, click the Material tool, and then select and drag the material we just created into the Material slot. The texture is now applied, and you can work with it as you make further edits to the UV, keeping an eye on the texture's application status.
you can unwrap the UV and then apply the texture, but you can also do the opposite and apply the texture first and then edit the UV while seeing the results. So if you're using Unity, Umodeller X can help you unwrap UVs more efficiently. In this tutorial, we have covered UV and texture coordinates, UV unwrap and texture mapping, and we have seen how to edit UVs using a Modeler X's UV editor. With Umodeler X, you can do all of this within the Unity editor at once. There are many more features in Umodeler X, so if you need more information or learning resources, check out the official Umodeler X documentation. Take advantage of Umodeler X's constantly updated features to become more creative and versatile. We hope that Umodeler X will be a great addition to your game development and 3D content creation. Thank you.